Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, today I'm looking at how to fix the battery drain issue on the Galaxy S10. And as you can see here, this is the S10 Plus. This will apply to the S10e as well as the S10 Regular Edition. All right, or other similar devices. Now, of course, if you're having the problem where your battery is draining very fast, and of course, the device doesn't last the entirety of the day, I want to try all of the following. And by doing these eight um, tips, you should be able to correct the battery drain problem all right the first thing you want to do guys to go ahead and try to turn off all unnecessary services on your devices for example let's say for example um you're on um, wi-fi or maybe you're on mobile data if you're not using any of these services such as wi-fi go ahead and turn them off what happens is, is if you're to have um the extra radios in your devices on such as bluetooth that's a good one to turn off when it's not being used to as they do drain extra battery nfc is another one location if you're not using any location services and the idea here is to turn them on, on as needed if you do not do this and keep them on unnecessarily they'll um, sap your battery energy over time so turning them off will significantly boost your battery life next you're going to turn on night mode so for example you notice the white backgrounds due to the type of screen in your device it's better off when it's black as the pixels will be turned off being completely black which means less battery drain so for example just to produce this white background on this device is actually draining the battery faster so let's go ahead and search for a night mode go ahead and turn it on as you can see here this block which is a perfect pitch block is actually requiring less energy so menus and so on will be blocked so keep that on whether or not it's night so that's the second tip and of course from here you're going to turn off automatic screen brightness so if you check out up here, I have my screen brightness set to auto. What's happening is it's constantly um, adjusting the brightness. We call it adaptive brightness. So let's go ahead and turn off the automatic feature so it won't adjust. And adjust your brightness to something that's more than reasonable. And once you're finished, it's done. And as you can see here, this is just bright enough, especially if you're indoors most of the time, you can keep it low. By keeping it at a specific point will guarantee that your device uses uh, less battery. And of course, you hardly ever use your device in direct sunlight, which will require it to be much brighter. Next, you're going to close um, background apps that are using um, a lot of battery life. Now, of course, how you do this is to go to um, settings. Once you're in settings, next, you're going to go to device care. Once you're in device care, as shown here, and of course, the battery is being scanned. You're going to go ahead and optimize your device now. By optimizing, what you're doing is that you're closing out stuff that's using up lots of um, battery. It's also killing and closing background apps. Notice 10 background apps not being used is closed. You're going to hit done. Once you do that, next, go to um, the battery option. Once you're in the battery option, go ahead and look at what's using your battery. Of course, you see if you see something odd here, like an app that you're not using, it would mean that that particular app is poorly coded. And of course, you can go into battery usage for more details. And once you see what's draining your battery severely, as long as it's not a system or background app, um, you can always target that app and either uninstall and find a replacement. And of course, you can also force close to see if it's that particular app. If battery life improves, then you want to uninstall or update that particular application. Um, next, you'll need to um, make sure that all your apps are up to date. Um, sometimes you get stability updates. Those stability updates are able to significantly improve performance so go to settings scroll down go to software update and hit download and install your device will check if there's an update it will tell you go ahead and update to the latest version next go to play store update all of your apps and of course you can go to galaxy apps and also update your applications as well another cool and easy thing to do is to reboot or restart your device regularly by restarting or rebooting your device regularly what that means is that you're able to keep your device running um, fresh. If your device is not turned off in a very long time, it can develop errors and those bugs can also cause battery drain and other issues. Um, next, you're going to um, turn down the screen resolution. So go to settings. Next, go to display. And of course, you're going to look for the display resolution. And of course, by default, it's set to FHD+. Plus. I have mine set to WQHD. Now this is the full capability of the screen. It's recommending you keep it on this one. So let's go ahead and apply and keep it on FHD plus. It uses less um, battery as you're using less pixels and you will barely notice the difference. 
um, if you keep it on this one here you'll actually have a performance hit at the cost of the screen looking just a bit sharper so it's always recommended that you keep it at the middle one and not on the n one that's seen there so that's another thing to do to save and optimize your device for a better performance all right so the next thing you want to do too guys other than turn down um, the screen resolution is to um, turn off the feature that's known as aod or always on display you can just go to settings and search for always on display top and of course you'll see here where it says always on display make sure it's set to off as mine is here and the always on display is the one that actually when the screen turns off you do see a clock or something moving around on screen and you can quickly check the time not necessary if there's a feature you do not need just go ahead and turn it off and once it's turned off it should optimize and save you a lot of battery um, power and of course um, that's about it that's eight tips to improve your battery life on the galaxy s10 and of course guys just always remember to um, go through the tips one at a time and try each and of course if you do all that your battery should last the entirety of the day and of course optimizations like these are always important to work on any device whether or not you're having issue to improve the battery life all right guys we got a corner from blog tech tips saying bye until next time thank you for tuning in bye